All right, everybody. Uh, so I'm back here again. I'm just kind of wanting to do uh, a little bit of a video review, reviewing a new another new motor uh, that I've gotten for this TRX4, uh, and while at the same token doing the, kind of doing the uh, the intro and a review on this motor, um, I'm also wanting to do by comparison some thoughts, experiences, and opinions with these these three other motors as well. Um, so what I'll do first is I'll kind of start out with, so as many of you know, this was the motor that comes, you know, stock on this TRX4. Um, good reliable motor. It's got an internal cooling fan, sealed can. Um, it's got brass bushings, front and rear. Uh, I mean, decent enough. And it's a, you know, 21 turn reverse rotation, which basically means that it turns counterclockwise. So it's going to, instead of spinning this Instead of spinning this direction, it spins this direction when connected, when the wires are connected as such. Um, so good. I mean, it's a good, reliable, basic motor. Produces a you know a a, 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 you know, a good amount of torque. Um, you can get some you know you can get some trash in it and everything else. You can you know you, I mean I've run this thing through the snow. Um, up here in Virginia, where we're, you know, where my wife and I are located at currently, uh, I'm, I'm not knocking it. It's a, you know, it's just a good, solid little motor. Uh, I just wanted to try something different with this truck because I just wanted to, try, you know, as I've described in other videos, uh, this truck I go and walk down a lot of trails and everything else, and so I just wanted to have a little bit more speed where this truck could basically keep up with me walking down the trail. Um, six two, and I can walk at a pretty decent pace, um, but now this truck definitely keeps up with me, and I'll get to that in a moment um, but I just kind of want to you know explain more or less the basics of this motor um, this motor as you can see is another stock motor um, it actually came out of a stampede two-wheel drive and it's basically the same as this 21 turn um, but it's got fewer turns it's a 12 turn so it's a little bit so it's a little bit quicker it doesn't produce the torque as the 21 turn does um, but it does turn a you know it does spin a little bit faster so you get more we wheel speed um, but it's the same basic design internal cooling fan sealed can not serviceable I mean uh, and it's got bushings on the, you know on both ends of the can uh, so it's essentially the same as this motor oh and it's standard rotation which means it spins clockwise um, so it's this is pretty much the same as this motor Right here, except that it's got, you know, the winding has fewer turns and which allows it to release its energy a, a lot faster. And then the only other thing is, is it's, it's standard rotation as opposed to reverse rotation. Um, so we'll set that aside. So the first one and then the first one we'll get into before we get into a review of what's in there currently is this one. Um, you guys have seen me. I've done a, a video prior on it. Um, and I've, I've, I've got rave reviews about it. it. It was something that I didn't see anybody had any, any real reviews on this motor. So on a whim, decided to take a chance on it. Uh, saw everybody, you know, ran the, the Holmes Hobby Motors, nothing against the Holmes Hobby Motors or anything like that. I just wanted to try something different. Uh, I wanted to try, you know, and I wanted to put out a review that nobody else had done. And so I went ahead, took a chance, got one of these motors, um, uh, really, really like it. Uh, X, you know, it, it, there again, standard rotation, 12 turn, five pole. Um, so, and so the biggest thing about the five pole is if you come and you grab it right here, it's a lot smoother, uh, in terms of the way that it, that, that it spins. Um, let me see if I can set my phone up here and do this. I'm trying to do this with, with just one hand folks. Oh, crap. Okay. Well, that's not going to work, so... But, basically, um, you know, it's just... The motor itself is much, much smoother. Um, it doesn't have the, you know, the uh, what I call cogging, uh, which is when you turn it, you, you actually feel, or, uh, you know, or a notchy feeling when you spin the motor. There's anything wrong with that or anything. Or anything. Um, it's just, it lends itself to being a much smoother motor. As you can also see, uh, it's serviceable. So you've got your brushes that come into the sides right here, and then you've got your springs that retain the brushes, you know, in in place. Uh, you've got 
a, you know, a, a ball bearing on this end of the motor can, and you've got a, a, a ball bearing on this end. So as, as well, this motor is a lot more efficient, and you're going to have a lot more efficiency just because of the fact that it's got ball bearings in it, as opposed to brass bushings, which brass bushings are great but if you've he heard any anyone in any other video talk about it when you put this when you when you start putting splines on this thing and over a period of time what will happen is is you'll have wear that will take place because you've got the gears you know, you've got your pinion gear that sits on this motor shaft and it goes up against your spur gear well, over a period of time that motor will will wear because when it spins it pushes on those gears and the and the gears naturally want to fling themselves away from each other and so what'll happen is is you'll you'll get wear in this bushing and you'll get play and you'll get an offset you'll get offset wear here and here versus with a bearing you don't really have that issue because the bearing actually allows a little bit of slack back and forth in it, and as well as you've got a ro you've got a roller, so that roller is going to naturally allow the bearing to spin. You know it, that that those rollers naturally allow this shaft to spin a lot more freely than say a brass bushing like this. So naturally, something like that I would think would lend itself to the motor itself not having to you know to, to produce as much you know not having to use as much energy just simply to spin the shaft. As a result, it's more efficient, you know, it makes the motor more efficient, uses less battery power, longer runtime. As if you already don't have enough runtime with, you know, with one of these motors in a vehicle like this. Um, they're just naturally efficient, long runtime is just a natural thing. Um, I mean, I can run these things, I, I can run this thing miles and miles before I actually have to recharge the battery. And this is a 2S LiPo, by the way, 5800 milliamp. Let's see if I can. So, there you go. So, quick segue. But yes, so this motor right here, very smooth. Um, and I will get come back to this mo to this motor in just a moment. But like I said, not a review on it. I just have a final opinion I want to get to. But so this was the motor that I had been waiting on. Um, ordered it from Horizon Hobby. Took about two weeks to get here. Yeah, I know. Took a while. Uh, but it is what it is. But it's pretty much the same principle as the the radon, the, you know, the reading motor over here, except that it's a three pole as opposed to a five pole over here. So it's got the it's got the notchy feeling, in it and everything else when you when you know when you spin it. But the same thing, serviceable you know, same thing as the reedy, serviceable brushes, bear, ball bearings on both sides. Um, it's pretty much an identical motor to the reedy. It's just three pole as opposed to five pole same 550 can everything uh the cans themselves actually look identical it's just that this one's got you know just different label um and then like i said this is a three slot or a three pole five pole over here uh, so that said when i've tested it which i'm not going to do a video of you know of running it or anything like that or at least not at this point in time because those videos just haven't been you know, well viewed or anything like that, uh, and it's more informative than anything else. Putting this out there because nobody had done reviews on either one of these motors, the Reedy, the, you know, the Reedy 550, or this. I have yet to see a single Spectrum Firma 550 brushed motor review done. So that's why I'm here. So overall, I'm very pleased with the performance of it. This thing runs like a, like, you know, like a little bat out of hell. Um, very fast, very, very fast motor. And so kind of what I've decided to do is this is going to be for this rig. This is pretty much going to be my dedicated trail motor now. So this is the motor I'm going to have on here when I decide to go run around the trails, just because of the fact that this, this thing, I actually have to slow it down so I can keep up to it as opposed to the opposite. Um, and then as you can see, I still have the, the XL, you know, the XL5 HV. Um, no longer, you know, never ran it. Ran on 3S a little bit just for testing purposes. Pretty much going to stick with 2S just because that's what this motor is rated for. Um, this one's actually rated for 3S, but we'll get to that in a moment. And so, overall, um, very impressed with this little motor. It's extremely quick, uh, very torquey. Um, just that, you know, the only thing it does is it lacks control. And so, that being said, that's why this is pretty much going to be my, my dedicated trail motor. And this one will be my dedicated crawler motor. So if I decide to take this TRX4 out to the rocks, you know, to the mountains somewhere and run it in the, in those conditions, 
this will be my motor of choice just because I, it, it it's not as fast, but the operation of it is much much smoother. So I have a lot more control with this with this motor as opposed to this one. Um, so my final thoughts and opinions on the both of them, both outstanding motors. Um, I've been very very pleased with the both of them. Very efficient. Um, I get about probably my guess is probably four between four and five hours of runtime with this with this battery with either one of these motors i haven't really run through a full battery on this one so uh, you know not not quite sure but i've probably got about overall probably about an hour to an hour and a half worth of runtime um so that said you know now that, that's my you know that's my rough guess is i'd probably it'd probably get similar runtime to the to the reedy motor uh and the reedy motor got between four and five hours flat so um, but overall, like I said, trail motor, you know, we use this one, dedicated trail motor, and this is going to be my dedicated crawler motor. Um, and overall, like I said, very happy with, you know, with both motors, very pleased. Um, uh, oh, and just FYI, this is also a 12 turn. So basically these, these motors are pretty much identical. The only difference between the two is one is a, one is a five slot or a five pole. The, you know, this being the Reedy, and this one, is, you know, the, the Spectrum is a three slot. Otherwise, they are identical. 12 turn, 550 can, serviceable brushes, fr you know, uh, bearings on both on both ends of the cans, which is mainly why I went with them and not one of the sport motors from uh, Holmes Hobbies, in all honesty. And, and they were the same price. So, I actually got serviceability uh, and more efficiency for the same amount of, for about the same amount of money as it was going to cost me for a Holmes Hobby Motors for a Holmes Hobby Motor which is why I went with these took a and took a chance and overall like I said very happy with uh, uh with both the motors so um with that said guys um everyone out there let me know how I did if you like what I did give me a thumbs up maybe give me a subscribe um otherwise hey I'm out here just putting it, just putting this information out here just to do a review because quite frankly nobody else had done it and I hope you guys have a awesome day and keep our seeing